Calculus and Vectors, Chapter 1, Introduction to Calculus, and today we're going to be rationalizing denominators. It's an important little skill that you need to learn. Um, we use it a lot when we're doing um, finding first principles, the derivatives from first principles, so it's a skill that you need to know how to do, and it's a nice easy lesson to start. So today we're going to rationalize this denominator. So I have 5 over 3 root 5. Now you know that in order to rationalize a denominator, you need to multiply by the root of 5. So if I multiply the denominator by the root of 5 here, I have to do the same in the numerator. And when I multiply those out, you need to know how to do this, right? 5 times, that's like 1 root 5, so that's 5 root 5s. And in the denominator, you better be getting rid of this radical because that's why we're doing it. So 3 root 5 times the root of 5. Root 5 times root 5 is just 5. So I end up with 3 times 5 here, which is 5 root 5 over 15. And of course, we can simplify that even further. We could have done that right here, and you end up with root 5 over 3. So you're familiar with that. We've done those ones before. But now we're going to do something when we have two terms in the denominator. And that's when we use something called a conjugate. You may have seen this word before, a conjugate. So it's a really simple thing to do. So if I have something like a, the root of a plus the root of b, the conjugate for that would be root a minus root b. Now you can see if I was multiplying these two together, it would be like multiplying something that was a difference of squares, right? So plus this, minus this. And that means that when you, when you expand this, you would end up with, so you get root a times root a, which is going to be, let's say, let's just multiply that out just for a second so I can show you what we're doing here. So I have this, and if I multiply it by this, what am I going to get? Well, root a times root a is just going to be a, and then I'd have root a root times root b minus it, and then I would have plus it, and then I would have minus b. So that shows how you can get rid of these radicals by multiplying by a conjugate. And that comes from, you know, just something like this. If I had a squared minus b squared, you'd say that's a plus b times a minus b. And you can see how working backwards, I get this term. So let's try um, using a question that I want to, we usually say what we call it is rationalizing the denominator. So rationalizing it. So if I have something like this, so let's say I have 3 root 3 minus 2 root 2. And I'm going to have that written over 3 root 3 plus 2 root 2. Okay, so I want to rationalize the denominator. I have a new light this time. I bought a new light. Isn't it nice and bright? Okay, so what is the conjugate of this? So 3 root 3 plus 2 root 2, I would multiply by the conjugate, which is 3 root 3. So you just write the same thing out, and you change the sign between them. Minus 2 root 2. So if this had been minus in the denominator, then I would have multiplied by the plus here. So whatever you do to the denominator, you must do to the numerator. So here we go. And now you need to expand. Okay, so in the numerator I had 3 root 3 times 3 root 3. That's 9 times the root of 9, or 9 times 3, which is going to be 27. Okay, watch that again. 3 times 3 was 9. Root 3 times root 3 is 3. So 9 times 3 is 27. And now if I multiply this times this one, I'm going to get minus 6 root 6. And I multiply this times this. So this is like expanding a binomial, right? So that's going to be minus 6 root 6. And minus 2 root 2 times minus 2 root 2 is going to be plus 4. 2 times 2 is 4. And root 2 times root 2 is 2. So 4 times 2 would be 8. 
Okay, and then the denominator, now you see we didn't get rid of them here because this wasn't a conjugate, right? If this had been a plus, I could have rationalized the numerator. And sometimes you do that, but most often this skill is used for the denominators. So now let's do this one. 3 root 3 times 3 root 3, that's 9 times 3 is 27. 3 root 3 times this would be minus 6 root 6, then I would have a plus 6 root 6, so I don't even need to do that. I just need to multiply these two together and these two together. So that's going to give me minus 4 times the root of 4 or minus 4 times four, minus four times 2, which is 8. So I'm going to have minus 8 here. So that's going to give me 27 and 8 is 35 minus 12 root 6. I can simplify these two. That's a 6. Sometimes my 6 looks like a B. And 27 minus 8 is 19. Okay, so that's rationalizing the denominator by multiplying by the conjugate. Okay, so rationalizing, let's just write that one here. Rationalize the denominator. Rationalize denominator. Denominator. Okay, now sometimes they ask you to rationalize a numerator. And mainly this is just in this, in this um, homework assignment. You don't usually use it. You're always rationalizing the, the um, whoops, I almost wrote it there again, rationalizing the denominators because it's better to have, um, to not have a radical in your denominator. Okay, so let's rationalize the numerator by doing this question. Okay, so rationalizing the numerator means get rid of this radical sign. So there's two terms here, so that means I need to multiply by the conjugate. What is the conjugate of, conjugate of 2 minus 3 root 2? Well, it's 2 plus 3 root 2. And whatever you do to the numerator, you have to do to the denominator. Okay, so as I stated before, if you have minus it and plus it, I just need to multiply these two and multiply these two. The other ones are just going to cancel out anyway, right? So I have 4 here. 2 times 2 is 4, and then I would have had plus 6 root 2 minus 6 root 2. So don't even bother. And minus 3 root 2 times plus 3 root 2, that's going to give me negative 9 times the square root of 4. So negative 9 times 2, negative 9 times 2 is 18, minus 18. And in the denominator, I would have 4 plus 6 root 2. Or you could leave it like this. So I have 2 times 2 plus 3 root 2. And the reason I'm doing that is because I know that this is going to be um, an even number and I can divide out this 2. So let's just finish that one off. 4 minus 18 is minus 14. I'm dividing by 2 times 2 plus 3 root 2. And the 2 is going to go in here minus 7 times get rid of that one. So I end up with, here's the final answer, minus 7 over 2 plus 3 root 2. Okay, and that's all there is in 1.1. Nice easy lesson to get you pretty comfortable before we teach you something more difficult. I think you'll love calculus. Stay tuned, subscribe, and that way you'll find out when I'm doing the next video.